Hey, what's up, Bay? This month, I am working through Advent of Code, which is a coding challenge for the month of December. Let's hop into the day one calorie counting challenge. I'm not gonna read the, the prompt for you. The gist of this one is that you get a file. It's your input here. Uh, it's just gonna be a list of numbers, and these represent calories that elves are carrying. Uh, so the first elf is carrying <clears throat> This many three different items, all with this number of calories. Second elf is carrying one item of 4,000 calories and so on. And my approach for this is to use a map. And within that map, we're going to have the key be the index of the elf and the value be the sum of the calories so you can see. And then what we want to find is the uh, elf that's carrying the maximum number of calories. And we want to return the, um, for our answer, we want to turn that number of calories. So the strategy I'm going to take is we're going to read in the file. We're gonna keep track of the elf index and running sum. And then when we reach a new line, we're gonna create a new value in the map with the key equal to the index and the value equal to sum. And then we'll just find the max value in the map. Let's get to the code. Okay, so to start, I'm going to import the read file function from the FS library. And then I'm just gonna use that function and I'm gonna call it on day one input.txt. Let's see, I'll show you my input right here. You can see it's a bit more complicated than the example given in the prompt but that is okay. I've got a callback function here as the last parameter in the read file function. So all of my code is gonna happen inside of this callback. If there's an error reading the file, we're just gonna throw an error, but hopefully that doesn't happen. All right, now we wanna split the data by new line character to get an array of lines. So we'll say const lines equals data dot split. And this is the, the symbol for a new line. So if I went ahead and console dot log lines and save, and I pull up a terminal here and I call, you'll see we get an array and this is all the lines from our input text. So that's great. I'll go ahead and delete this. Okay. Now we wanna create that map and it's gonna be number to total calories. So we're declaring here that elf map and it's gonna be a of type map and the map is gonna have key of number and value of number. So let's see if I hover over this. Yep, key and value. And we just say new map, call the map con the constructor on that. Now I'm going to declare that running sum to be zero and the index to be one. And for line of lines, so now I'm just looping through this array. If the line is empty, we know we've reached the end of that elf's uh, calories, whatever he's carrying in his bag there. Get rid of that. And so if the line is an empty string, then we want to set the on the elf map, we want to set the index to that running sum. We want to reset the running sum back to zero. We want to increment our index, and we want to continue back into the for loop. If it's not a new line, then we know we want to add the calories to the running sum. So we'll just say running sum plus equals line, and we're parse inting, we're changing that from a string to an int with a radix of 10. And now we need to find the max calories. To find the max calories, we'll say let max equal zero. Let the max index equal one. And for the key and value of elf map, we will say if the value is greater than max, We'll set the max equal to the value. We'll set the max index equal to the key. And we're just gonna console.log max. This is really the answer that we care about. So if I go ahead and save this and run, we get 70, 76, or sorry, seven, uh, 70,764. And we can see that I got part one right. Puzzle answer was 70,764. 70, All right, for part two, we want to find the top three elves carrying the most cal calories. So the approach here is to just sort the, um, we'll just go ahead and sort the map and then we will return the top three. So hopping into part two here, find the top three elves by calories. We will declare a variable called values and set that to elfmap.values. That gives us an array of all the values. Uh, and we're going to then sort that. And we're gonna sort that in, what is it, descending order, I guess? So the highest value at the top and the lowest value at the bottom. It might be the other way around, ascending. I always forget. And then we'll declare a variable, variable called top three where we just slice the top three off that sorted values array. And now we're gonna sum the calories of the top three elves because we wanna return for the answer, the prompt is looking for the sum of the calories of the top three elves. So we'll let top three sum equals zero. And then we're just gonna call a for each loop on top three. And for each value in top three, we're gonna add that value to top three sum. 
And then at the end, we're just going to console log that because that's what we want to feed to the prompt. And we see top three sum is 203,905. If I go back to the website here, that was my input. So we got the answer. We're helping out the elves. Stay tuned for day two coming up next. Thanks for watching. Yeah.